In this lesson, we are going to add feature boxes. Let's start off by clicking on the feature box and leaving it as the default. Okay, so that's one. Let's add another one. Now with the feature boxes, you know, it always looks better when you have them, you know, horizontally next to each other. So let's change the layout here and just copy this twice and just drag it over. You're going to see exactly what I'm talking about. And I'm sure that you've been to certain websites, you know, that you see, uh, you know, different items at the top of the site. Something like this. You have, you're trying to feature something, you, you know, you want to uh, draw attention to a particular subject on your site. Now this, you can customize this here. You can add an icon with them. You can change the title color. You can change their, you know, the, the link. You can add an image. You can add, you know, icons here. So let's go. When you click here, where it says layout type, you can choose to add an image or an icon. So let's let's add this icon. You choose, scroll down. I'm just gonna grab bank here. You can change the icon color if you want it to be a certain color. You can change that here if you want uh, the background color. You can change the border. So I, I really encourage you to you know to play with this and and see what looks you know good for your site. So we've changed that there. We've added an icon. And let's do the same. And you can choose the icon size as well. So right now it's currently 36. It's going to choose adjust. And then let's choose one more. All right, CC. And then let's click save. And you can edit the text as well. If the text is too long, you can edit it so everything fits in that particular area. All right, so let's refresh the page and see what we've got. So there you have it. And you can add a little more space uh, between the, 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 uh, the icon and the text. You can add the border size. You can add the radius. You can add the you know the pattern so let's just add just the default here just to add 10 and let's add 20 so for the first one with just those changes that we made you notice that it looks different you know from the rest so if you want to add a little more space uh, to this then you can just you can add for the top margin you add 10 for the bottom you add 10 for the pattern you add 20 you can add more or you can you can you know add less so let's do the same here for this one and then let's see if we change the icon color let's change that to green And let's change the icon color for this one. As you can see, there's you know there's a lot of modification that you can do to your icons. So if you don't want something that just looked the same boring and you want to you know add a little more spice to it, then I definitely encourage you to do this. So now we've made changes and you notice the colors have changed. So this is really great if you if if you have a certain website color scheme that you want to maintain, you can add these icons and add those colors to those icons so that it blends in with your site. You can also make them bigger or you can leave them that size. So let me just change this first one here. So right now it's at 36. I'm just gonna put it at 128. At 128, it's a lot bigger and it's a lot visible. So you can do the same thing too for the other ones. You can also change the background for everything. 
So you have you have a lot of you know different things that you can you can work with.